Good morning, here we are again, and we are going to be doing lesson two from module eight. So lesson two from module eight, more with our fun uh, geometry that we're doing. I'm going to remind you that you need to watch the video from Eureka first, and I will tell you that there is an activity on uh, with Mr. Waldorf for you to do today that involves some broken pieces of spaghetti. So you might want, I don't have some to show you right here because I don't have spaghetti in my classroom, but um, there is an activity. I'm gonna have to get some for my face-to-face -face kids, but for you, uh, you need to know that there is uh, some broken spaghetti and a piece of dark paper that you're going to be making some polygons on. Now, I'm going to very quickly, before I go too much farther, I know that I made a little bit of a boo-boo yesterday. Um, when I was talking to, you, uh, talking to you about what a polygon is, and Mr. Waldorf did talk about that today, which I was glad. Um, but one thing I think I might have said, with, I might have said that poly, of course, means many, and gone, I think I said yesterday that that meant sides, but it's been a little while since I've done some geometry, and I do remember now, after listening to Mr. Waldorf, that it does mean many angles. And like a triangle is three angles, a polygon is a figure that has many sides and angles because that's what we're counting when we're, look, when we're looking at polygons. So if I, I'm going to correct that boo-boo because I thought, oops, I made a boo-boo yesterday when I was talking about that. So that hopefully is cleared up, and I wrote it up at the top of this page as well. The word polygon, which is what we're going to be studying, means poly, many, and gone means angles. So um, we're, I'm going to uh, tell you that on the problem application today, I'm going to come back to that one in a few minutes, because right now, um, after you watch the video, hopefully you'll have a better idea of what it is that you're going to be doing. So let's take a look at our problem set today. Our problem set is telling you that you need to count the number of sides and angles for each shape so that you can identify what the polygon is. The polygon names are in the word bank, may be used more than once. So you listen to Mr. Waldorf talk about a hexagon. Hexa means six or six angles. Quad, quad is a word for four. That would be four, uh, quadri uh, quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. It also has four angles. A triangle has three angles, and a pentagon has five. Penta means five, gon means angle, tri means three, quad means four, and hexa means six. So with your colored pencils, like we've been doing the last couple of days, you're uh, not, uh, not, this is just day two, you're going to need to have that uh, green and orange uh, colored pencil again so that you can count your sides, one, two, three, four, and count your angles, one, two, three, four, and based on how many sides and how many angles, you're going to decide, is this a hexagon, a quadrilateral, a triangle, or a pentagon? That is your job on all of these figures, and there's a bunch of them. You've got polygon A, polygon B, polygon C, D, E, F, polygon G, all the way down to polygon L. So all the way down to polygon L using your orange and green pencils so that you can keep track of your counting. And then you will need to identify, of course, this one would be a quadrilateral one. I'm not going to give it a capital letter because it doesn't really need one. It's a long word to have to fit on that little tiny space. Wow, I'm gonna have to write smaller if I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try that again. Oh my gosh, that's such a long word, quadrilateral. I'm gonna start it clear over here. Q-U-A-D, there I am, quad, real, R-I-L, uh, R-I-L-A-T-E-R-A-L, long word, quadrilateral. They do not need to have capitals, although I think I might have shown that. Anyway, never the mind. So quadrilateral, and you're going to have to figure out the rest of those. Then you're coming over to the next part of the problem set. 
you're going to have to draw two or more sides to complete each example of a polygon. So first of all, they want you to draw a triangle. You're going to have to say uh, for example, or for each example, how many lines did you add? I think I'm going to do this first one with you because it's, I think I thought this assignment was a little bit confusing. So if I'm going to make example one into a triangle, I am going to draw one line, and the same thing would be true on example two. So I drew one line for example one and one line for examples two. For each example, one line was added for a total of one, two, three. Where's my pen? Here we my pencil. One, two, three sides. One, two, three sides. For a total of a triangle has a total of three sides. It also has three angles. But your job is to go through and add sides to these angles to make a hexagon, which is six a quadrilateral, which is four, and a pentagon, which is five. All right, and then you're going to have to explain why these two uh, polygons are hexagons, and then you have to draw a, sec a third one with six sides, and then you have to explain why these polygons are quadrilaterals. All right, so once you do that, you should have enough information to successfully do the exit ticket and send it to your teacher, but not until after you and I have gone over everything together. Now, if you are feeling a little tiny bit confused, it would be an excellent idea for you to pause the video and go back and maybe even watch Mr. Waldorf a second time and uh, make sure you understand what you're doing. Okay, so you need to complete this, and I would strongly suggest that as you're drawing the number of lines that it will take to make a hexagon and a quadrilateral and a pentagon, that you use your green pencil and make sure that you're counting the number of sides that you have actually added. Otherwise, it could be a little bit confusing. All righty, so with that, my Dear friends, I am going to um, come back to this, the polygon that's at the front, and I am going to show you um, something. So um, this, is, this is just to get you started. It says, how many triangles can you find? All right, so I have colored in one, two, three, four, five, those are the green ones, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, my friends, I'm going to tell you what. If you only found those ten, it says you got to keep looking. How many other triangles can you find? And I'm going to give you a little hint. There are a total, believe it or not, of 35 triangles in this little, uh, this little picture that they have given you. I know, that's a lot of triangles. I, I mean, you know, you can find those 10 very easily. I'm not going to tell you any more than that until we come back. And I don't know that I'm going to help you find all 35, because uh, that would take a really long time. But I'll bet you could maybe find 10 more if you really tried. But we'll look at that when you come back. So that gave you a start on finding at least 10. But there's more than that. All righty? OK, so you go ahead and um, you get your assignment finished, and then I'll come back and we'll chat. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. Pause the video. Okay, are you back? I hope you're back. Let's take a look at, let's look at this first one and then we'll go on. This was just kind of a fun little thing to do. I'm wondering if you were able to find this triangle, I'm going to have to start coloring with some other colors. Here's another one right here. It's kind of a big one. I'm going to color over that green and that orange because I've already counted that one. I think maybe I did, I did six, no, one, two, three, four, I did five, sorry. I did five green, one, two, three, four, five. I wish I had done that before I started. Five green, and then one, two, three, four, five orange, five orange, O-R-A-N-G-E. And now I'm going to do some red ones. These are a little bit bigger. So there's one there. 
Here's this one over here. Yep, there's a lot of messages going back and forth on my thing today. So there's one there. So one, two, oh, right, here's one here. There's three. Let's see. Now this one. I know there's got to be another one of those. This one, oh, here's one right here. There's four. Uh-oh, is there five of those too? Five of those. Oh, here's one right here that I didn't get. There's five more. Wow. So there's one, two, don't get lost, Miss Star, three, four, and five. So now I've got five red ones. Five red. I am up to 15. Can I find another one? Hmm. Let, oh, I can see. I'm going to do a couple of blue ones here. Here's one right here that goes like bing, bing, and bing. Do you see that one right there? Okay, there's a blue one. Wow, I could just keep right on going. I'm not going to go for too much longer, but I think you get the idea that you could find a lot more triangles, but you're going to have to look for bigger ones. There's some blue ones. There's a blue one right there. There's blue. I think if I keep going, I could probably find another blue one. Oh, what? There's another one right there. Right there. I'm going to color that blue one. Uh-oh, I bet you I could find another one. Let's turn it right here. Here's another blue one right here. Wow, this, this gets a little bit confusing <laughs> with all of these colors. Oh, here's another blue one right here. Holy, 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 whoa. It's starting to really look pretty colorful here. And oh, here's another blue one right there. See it right there? Oh my gosh, that was five more. Did I get this one? <laughs> there's five more. Okay, so there's five blue. So at least I'm up to 20. That means, oh my gosh, I'm up to 20 and there's 35. Holy moly, I'd, I'd have to find a whole bunch more. So 35, take away the 20 that I already found, five. I'd have to find 15 more. And I'm going to tell you that it is totally possible to do that, but I am not gonna take that much time to do that. You're gonna have to finish that one on your own if you're interested in finding all 35 triangles. If you're interested, you can go online and find this same picture and you could practice uh, looking and seeing if you can find all 35. That might be a fun thing for you to do. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, what you were supposed to do today. So we're going to be looking and correcting that first page. So did you count one, two, three uh, sides? And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little switch here just to go a little bit faster. Here is the key today. This one was a quadrilateral because it had four sides and four angles. This one was a triangle because it had three sides and three angles. Pentagon because it had one, two, three, four, five sides and five angles. A hexagon because we had six sides and six angles. And a triangle because we had three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral because we had four sides and four angles. A quadrilateral again, one, two, three, four sides and four angles. And we have a hexagon, one, two, oops, three, forgot that one, four, five, six sides. Boy, you really have to pay attention that you get all those sides. Six sides, six angles makes a hexagon. I'm going to have to have five sides, one, two, three, four, five, to give me a pentagon, four sides for a quadrilateral a quadrilateral, four sides for a quadrilateral, and three sides for a triangle. So each one of our polygons here have the same number of sides and the same number of angles. If you're a quadrilateral, you have to have four sides and four angles. A triangle has to have three sides and three angles. A pentagon has to have five sides and five angles. A hexagon has to have six sides and six angles. 
a triangle has to have three sides and angles, a quadrilateral has to have four, a quadrilateral has to have four, a hexagon has to have five. Oops, sorry, hexagon is six, my bad. I almost goofed that one up. Gotta have six. A pentagon has to have five, a quadrilateral four, a quadrilateral four, and a triangle three. So regardless of what that polygon looks like, if it has six sides and six angles, it's going to be a hexagon. If it has four sides and four angles, it's going to be a quadrilateral. If it has three sides and three angles, it's going to be a triangle. If it has five sides and five angles, it's going to be a pentagon. Wow, that was a ton of fun. Alrighty, so let's come on to our next page. So, if you on your triangle drew one line, which I drew on mine, so for, exa for each example, example one and example two, I added one line, which gives a triangle a total of three sides. My hexagon, I added four lines, one, two, three, four, and that gave me a total of one, two, three, four, five, six sides on both of that. My quadrilateral, I added two lines to my shape that was already there at my angle, and I counted four sides, and on my pentagon, there were three sides that had to be added, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Of course, yours do not have to look exactly like mine as long as you have one, two, three, four, five sides, one, two, uh-oh, I, whoop, there it is right there, almost didn't get that marked. One side, two sides, three sides, four sides, and five sides. Now, why are both of these polygons hexagons? Well, because they have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six angles. One, two, three, four, five, six angles, and counting those sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And then I had to draw my own uh, hexagon, and I drew one line segment, two line segments, three line segments, four, five, and six, and then I identified those. One, two, three, four, five, six sides with one, two, three, four, five, six angles. And why are both C and D poly, uh, quadrilaterals? Because both of these poly, because both of these polygons are quadrilaterals because they have four sides, one, two, three, four, and four angles, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four sides, one, two, three, four angles. There you go. If you're finding that this is a ton of fun, well, you're right with me because I really love geometry. It's fun to learn and it's fun to do. It's almost like doing a fun little art class when you're playing with lines and angles. Now your job, your next job, now that we've gone through everything, is to make sure that you do the exit ticket and you do your best work on your exit ticket. Make sure you count the number of sides and angles for each shape to identify the polygon. Name the, po or the polygon names are in the word bank and they're probably going to be used more than once. And with this, my friends, I am going to tell you to have a great day of learning.